Good afternoon, Greater Latrobe. We hope you're having a great day. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Maria Angelique, alongside Violet Dice. Coming up in today's show, we have information about the homecoming dance ticket sales, school pictures will be taken next week, and our sports reporters have an update on our Wildcat teams. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. Seniors, Student Council is hosting the Senior Sunrise on Graham Sabota Field Tuesday, September 10th at 6.45 a.m. The Senior Sunrise is a symbolic way for seniors to celebrate the beginning of a new and final year together. The senior class will watch the sunrise and have some donuts together. This will be accompanied by a senior sunset at the end of the year to represent the end of our final year in high school. Please mark your calendars. We hope to see you there. Please RSVP to the event before the end of the day today on the Google form emailed to you by Mrs. Houck. All students should check their school email for an important message from Student Council about the homecoming dance ticket sales. All tickets must be purchased online and the email contains the link for purchase. 10th through 12th grade students who are bringing a date from another school are encouraged to purchase their tickets as soon as possible so you have time to complete the required guest forms. Ticket sales will begin Wednesday, September 11th and end Friday, September 20th. Dance tickets will not be available after this date. Seniors, if you missed your senior pictures with Timeless this summer, senior makeup pictures will take place on September 12th in C102. You will be given a pass next Monday with your time. If you do not receive a pass and did not get your pictures taken, please let Mrs. Butler know ASAP in H108. Underclass pictures will be taken September 10th and September 11th in the auditorium. Students will be scheduled through their math classes for grades 10th and 11th and through their freshman focus classes for grade 9. Students interested in volunteering at the You've Got a Friend Day event at Twin Lakes Park on Wednesday, October 2nd should see Mrs. Donahue in F202 for more information. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Haley Bruno for your three-day forecast. Good afternoon, Wildcats. Be sure to expect cooler weather in these next couple of days. On Saturday, there is a high of 67 and a low of 45 with rain showers early in the day. And on Sunday, there is a high of 68 and a low of 45 with sunny skies. That's all for our weekend weather report. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Haley. If you were interested in traveling to Spain and France and did not attend the meeting last year, please join Dr. Antolik in the Senior High CSC on September 26th at 5.30 p.m. This trip will be a great opportunity to see the Mediterranean Sea and Barcelona, then go to the Atlantic Ocean in both Spain and France. Visit parents and more. If you have friends who have missed the earlier meetings, they should attend on September 26th with a parent or guardian at 5.30 in the Senior High CSE. If you can't make the meeting or have questions, please email Dr. Antolik at liz.antolik at glsd.us. Seniors, please check your email and submit your senior quote for the yearbook. The following colleges will be visiting during lunches this month. They will be set up outside of the cafeteria near the faculty dining room. If you need more information, please stop by the guidance office. We go to Gabby Cunningham for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good afternoon, Wildcats. Looking to last night, the boys golf team beat Indiana in a sudden death playoff 194 to 194. Their girls tennis team celebrated their seniors and beat the Armstrong River Hawks 4 to 1. The boys soccer team defeated Belle Verdon 5-0. To wrap up the night, the girls volleyball team swept Penn Hills. Moving on to today's sports, the boys golf team faced Kiski this morning. At 7, the varsity football team travels to Norwin to take on the Knights. Be sure to pack the den and wear your jerseys. Also, the marching band has been working hard to cr create an entertaining halftime performance and to keep the crowd energized during the game. Reporter Brianna Vesley spoke to Maddie Sloan about the band's halftime show. Wildcat fans, I'm here with Maddie Sloan, a member of the marching band. Thanks for joining us, Maddie. You're welcome. Maddie, how does the marching band's theme, Marching Into the Future, play into the senior class of 2025? I think definitely for the seniors of 2025 in, a, in the marching band, I think that like it, saying marching into the future, we're all like not marching, but making our way into the future, into the next steps of our life after high school. So, yeah. 
And what are some traditions that the marching band has that you think are really important to the tradition of it? I think some traditions are definitely um, battle of the sections during band camp. The competitiveness with all the themes that each section dresses up as, it's always like a good time and everybody always is always excited for it at the beginning of band camp and just starting to think of themes and yeah. And how do you see yourself continuing music in the future? Um, I'm definitely wanting to continue music into my future and then I have applied for Penn State so I can go and be a part of the blue band. All right, and what are some, what was the hardest part about this year's show? I think the hardest part was keeping the tempo in our opener, Time Warp. It was a lot faster and a lot more complex with marching and like trying to keep up, but I think we handled it well. And now what was your favorite part about being a marching band the past four years? I think my favorite part is going to the games on Friday And just being with everybody and seeing everybody's faces, especially the director's faces after we finish our halftime show, just to see like how proud they are of us. All right. Thank you, Maddie, for joining us. For WCAT-TV, I'm Brianna Vesley. Tomorrow, the cross-country teams head to White Oak Park for an invitational. That's all for local sports. Now here's Brianna Vesley with national sports. Thanks, Gabby. Last night, the Pittsburgh Pirates defeated the Washington Nationals 9-4. Tonight, the Pirates host Game 2 against the Nationals at 6:40. On Saturday, be sure to tune in at noon as the Pitt Panthers head to Nippert Stadium to take on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Also at noon, Penn State hosts Bowling Green for the first time since 1998. Looking to Sunday, the Steelers are on the road to face the Atlanta Falcons at 1 for the Week 1 matchup. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Bree. In other sports news, preseason girls wrestling team workouts will take place every, mo- every Monday and Wednesday from 3 to 5 p.m. Please be sure to bring your gear. Also, baseball lifting is canceled for this week. Wondering what's on the menu tomorrow? Here's JJ Amaros with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? On Monday, September 9th, the daily special was Porky's Rib Barbecue Sandwich with Tater Tots and Baked Beans. The sandwich options for today are hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken patties. The Big Daddy Pizza and Bosco Cheese Sticks will be available as well. Tuesday special is the Cat's Chicken Potato Bowl with Golden Corn and the Warm Dinner Roll. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, JJ. We'll be back after this message. Interact and Key Club are hosting a food drive to benefit Westmoreland County Food Bank. Non-perishable food items will be collected in the main office from September 23rd to the 27th and at the gates at the home football game on Friday, September 27th. Most requested items are canned tuna, boxed mac and cheese, cereal, peanut butter, and box meals like Hamburger Helper. Please consider donating to help those in need. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great daily trope. Go Wildcats!